I'm back here on this uh, <coughs> fender, and uh, you can kind of see there is a curved mark. That's where the fender goes. This belt bed was welded up, not by me, but it looks pretty good here on the inside. But it had a pretty bad uh, roughness to it. You can kind of see what was going on there. Um, and I cleaned this up to weld my patches back in. I figured I wanted to get this bed straight. Um, I ordered some fender welts for it. But they're uh, like 5 16 or something like that. They're not going to cover a very big hole. So before I get this fender mounted on here permanent, um, I'm going to clean this up. I'm just going to bondle that. And... Uh, that should be good enough most of all of that you're going to be able to see so I want to get that fixed and uh, I turned my exhaust pipe down you know quarter of a turn or something so I got it pointed at the ground here at least it's not pointed straight back inside the fender so that'll clean that up. I gotta weld this patch in. The bottom of this bed has got a little round lip on it. That gives it some strength. I need to do something with this. I'm not exactly sure what yet. My uh, fender's coming right through here. I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with that. I need it stronger though because this is going to be part of what's holding that fender. I probably need to put a gusset or a plate or something in there. Anyway, that's my deal. Fix that while the Bondo's curing. I'll go down here and weld these in. It's going to take a while. I hope I got enough gas. And uh, I haven't decided yet whether I'll make some kind of a a bracket from this fender. You know, it's been in just a little. You can see the whole bed is flexing there. I'm not sure what I'll do there. I think if it's mounted in the front, mounted up here on top, and I probably need at least one or two more bolts. I probably ought to put another bracket up in here in this spot. And I'm going to run some kind of a brace from back here up here to where the the edge of the fender is. I may run it straight across, but this is just, you know, that's tin. That's not really going to hold much. But anyway, I'll get this patched up and we'll move on with fitting this fender to the bed. You know, I put my little pyramid in here. What I did was just take a little piece of <coughs> welding wire, put it in the gaps, and tacked it in. And that uh, kind of helps me fill it and keep it straight. And I threw some uh, light coat of Bondo up in here, cover up my grinding marks, and uh, 
Got to find my little triangle and weld it in. And then I can uh, take my big flat uh, grinder disc and knock all this down best I can. And that should tell me where my next coat of bondo is going to go. I had some left over, so I threw it on a real bad place there on the fender. And I figured I might as well try to fix it rather than preserve the rust. And uh, that's what I'm doing. The whole purpose of fixing this is to get it ready for that fender anyway so might as well just press on I get tired of working on one thing working on it working on it working on it so I get away from it from a while and uh, just do the best I can if I if I keep uh, pushing on one spot I wind up giving up and then I got a bad job and I'm never happy with that so I just uh, take a break get away from it from a day work on a lawnmower back to the grind this is kind of interesting what I did was uh, cut me some little pieces of welding rod and just barely tack these things in because uh, this this little triangle here is it's way too small if we can show you here or not but you can see there's quite a bit of gap in there and uh, that way I can put the that kind of makes up for the metal that I lost when I was uh, cutting it out but anyway I can uh, I can get this all smooth this is real smooth across here everywhere this one down here looks pretty good I can just take my time a little sm slow tacks now without burning it through this uh, bed is pretty thick metal but uh, anyway just an interesting little thing I was kind of proud of being able to weld just a, a little tiny piece of rod on there press on new bottle of gas 75 bucks that'll last a while well, here's our little <coughs> patches tacked in. I got a couple small little beads on them. It made this pretty strong. Of course, it'll get much stronger. I got to put something back here and bend this away from the hinge. It's still all right, but it's awfully close. So now. I'll just uh, put my helmet on and start doing little one, two, three spots on it. Move to a different place. Move around, try to keep it cool. Well, I put a, quite a few tacks in here. Um, but it's, uh, it's building up. It means I got a lot of grinding. So I'm going to raise this voltage up about a bolt and see how much better that is. Well, I was getting pretty frustrated with my welding. It was just splattered. It was laying on, but I wasn't didn't like it. I knew I just got a new bottle of gas. Anyway, it turned out that uh, I had shut my regulator off. And you can see the good wells here when I turned the 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 gas back on and yeah, it was laying in there real nice so anyway patched up what I could here 
and uh, it's a little warm not that bad but uh, I can grind this uh, shield slash A down and <coughs> press on with this bed here it is mostly ground down patched a couple little pinholes in it it's pretty flat I uh, need a little uh, pounding on it but it's really strong much stronger than it was before unfortunately this is all below the bed uh, the bed is probably up to about here somewhere so the only way to really get to that I might be able to lay down and pound this out a little bit from the back um, this I can't do much about because I'm right on top of that uh, hinge bracket so actually this little curve that's in here will be good this is all below the fender I think my fenders coming right along in here somewhere so part of this patch will be showing oh maybe that's my line right there maybe all of this patch but I can get this real good and that one there will all be hidden I do need to put a pry bar up in there and make sure that this is all solid I probably ought to put more of an edge this has got like a quarter of an inch of edge and probably wouldn't hurt anything for me to take a piece of 3 8 round rod put back in here and just strengthen this whole thing up because it is moving around a little and uh, this is you can see it moving there the, the defender is going to flex it a little this big outside fender not so much but maybe I'll just put a piece right here on the edge so I can weld it on this outside edge probably be the easiest just like that and the strongest take it all the way back into where it hits this piece probably lay it right in this crack so that'll be good enough for that but I do need to kind of get it been around and straightened out a little before I do that it looks like it's got a bend in it but a lot of that's from the optical illusion of the spring going down anyway <coughs> I knew I was gonna have to do this but I'm still not done by any means but I got the hole patched. Plenty of gas now. So I should have no trouble with finishing up the rest of this truck. Well, there's my 3 8 welded in there. It's really strong right in this area. Up here, it's flexing a little. That's because it's been cut out there where that uh, exhaust pipe goes but it's uh, super strong particularly right in here this is all welded together that's got a bracket in it uh, I think my fenders coming right through this area So I think probably what will happen is I'll put a mount here somewhere. I may just weld a tab on the bottom of this and take this straight over to the 
outside of the fender. I may go in this area, you know, right around the middle. But uh, anyway, I took a little welding. Not the best in the world again, but I got to grind it off, and it's all under the fender anyway. So that uh, 3 8 rod made a big difference in the in the stability of it, and uh, it's good enough here. It's a little bit hot still. I just want to grab a hold of it, yanking it all the way up to up in this area here somewhere. It's really sturdy. That's plenty good for a fender brace, I'm sure. So I need to need to do that on the other side. I probably got about eight or ten feet of rod left. And I started welding this up. I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, I should have cleaned the paint off. But looks like that's going to be plenty good. Straightened all of this this mess out of here, so I can finish grinding that. And. Uh, Throw a little bondo on it and probably sand the rest of this down and make this bed look real good in this area. So it's kind of done for this much. Well, here it is all ground down. And uh, I was able to get it up pretty high there. I need to take a DA in there and finish that up. But uh, all looks pretty good, pretty flat. I got a few little dents in it, not bad. be good enough for what uh, I'm trying to do to make this fender look good so now I just have to mix up a little bondo and see what I can do about covering this up and making it look good shouldn't be too much trouble well this is what takes all the time and probably my least favorite thing and that's Bondo especially on a big flat panel I uh, wound up heating this area putting a pry bar in it and I bent that out quite a bit of course all my hinge and frame and everything's in there I can't really get to it to hit it or nothing but I got it pretty much straight. I got some of this, the old Bondo ground off good up in here. Uh, I've got a big, uh, actually this is a buffer, but I got a 40 grit on it. And it's uh, taking this down fairly flat. So, this is, uh, I guess, the second coat. This is flattening it out. Looks like I got some low right in here still. Maybe right up in here. Again, same thing. I can't pound any of that out because it's, it's behind the bed. But... We'll just uh, press on with what we got here. I looked at the other fender where to put a brace. 
Uh, I can, can't put it too close to this exhaust pipe here. But it looks like right in this area, straight across to the fender, is going to be my best bet. And I forgot I had this stuff. I've got a whole bunch of half inch eighth steel. And I, I can make my brackets out of that. I think that's what I got them for in originally. But who knows, I might put two on it. One here and one here. I'll just weld the tab drill a hole do the same thing over here on the bottom of the fender I think I was gonna I was planning on using a half inch for the bottom of the fender to uh, strengthen it but I got another set of round rods so and I'm looking around at this this uh bottom of this stake pocket is crushed pretty good and I decided I'd weld this piece back in here I cut this out for something on that Mustang or I need a little piece of sheet metal and when I bought this tailgate that's all I bought it for was sheet metal and this this is pretty beat up and I may take some time and straighten that but I will for sure fix this hole in here it should be pretty easy yeah this this whole tailgate here was basically gone I bet I watched a video the other night of some guy fixing one and it took him a lot of work days of course but it was really really rusted out horribly bad this is ten times better than what he started with and he was able to get a pretty good job so I'm going to go ahead and spend a little time try to get this tailgate in good shape I can uh, I can bond it pretty much round I gotta fix this crushed tailgate here it's like everything when you start making something straight first thing you know you're doing the whole car but this one's not too bad the bottom's crushed there a little and I've got some rusted out down where that hinge is supposed to be course that's just uh, not a hinge anymore at all I suppose I could make it a hinge that's really not my <coughs> not my goal we'll see I got a lot of body work to do on this I can uh, just see what I can do and I've got a big bend in it here you can see down in here it's been out probably an inch right in the bottom there I don't know how I'd get that straight probably just back it into a tree and bend it anything big enough to squash that straight even if I took it off 
which I could. I welded it on pretty good here, but uh, I could cut it off. I'm not sure what I'll do. Really don't know at this point. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. I'm just going to continue to press on and get this fender mounted where I want it. Well, here's this pretty much done. It's a little low spot right here, but that's a real thin, thin coat. I've got the pretty much knocked out my fenders coming along in this area here down to here but this is uh really won't be much trouble at all to finish grinding this up that big grinder down there is kind of working but uh i really need a need a board sander to knock this down <coughs> I'll probably order one uh, I got a good DA and I thought it was hook and loop it's not it's a sticky back sanding disc I don't really have any I ordered some so I can't really use my DA on this but uh, don't really care at this point, I'll let this dry good. It's a little wet right now, but I'm going to put my set my fender on it, mark it <coughs> where it goes. No use really working on the bottom of this anymore. If it's all going to be covered up, that's good enough for. <clears throat> what I need I don't know what this looks like right in here anyway I probably ought to hit it with my big sander and take a look at it but uh, this this wasn't really beat up too bad anyway it's a uh, looking real good of course you know bondo takes a long time especially when you got a big panel like that trying to get straight the other side's not too bad I got a, quite a bit of work to do on this old rusty fender but uh, I'd already put that patch in and ground it down There's a few little places up to where it's going to be above the fender. I'll uh, knock that down and throw a little bondo on that. Looks like they welded in here, just like the other side. I'll have to grind that down and fill it. I've got a big weld right there I need to fix. I think that's under the fender, so I don't have to do it too well. I need to turn my muffler down. Anyway, I still have to go through this whole fender and finish uh, up any round rod I need to do to it. Fix this old rusty place here in the back. This fender is not looking too bad. Got most of all of the bad stuff out of it. Got a little right here in the front. <coughs> I want to get it up there and see how close I am to having a straight line here. It's obvious it's not straight. But, uh, once I get it up on the car and the 
the mounts put in you can see it's coming out quite a bit there anyway can't really tell anything until I get a straight bed on it which is basically what I've got and I'm going to try to get this fender mounted today and any kind of braces put in here that I need takes a long time oh, we're quite a bit away got a good half inch right here like a quarter here see up there that top one but I've marked it here and this is clamped here at the bottom so for whatever reason I welded this on the inside so that's already a sixteenth of an inch too far but I need to cut that off this one here is hitting, no it's not hitting at all, I'm getting close down here, and uh, looks like it's hitting a little below, well right in here where this chunk of bondo is, and hitting in the bottom but that's no big deal this can be pounded in I'm close to where I drilled my original hole here there it is so there's my hole it's good This is probably all right. But I'm, uh, I'm a good quarter, half an inch away from the bed. And it looks like the, the part that is the worst is right here. what caused that whether it was pounding this back out and welding that brace in it probably because I did put that uh, wire going up toward the front and put some pressure on it so it probably bent this out so I got to cut that off of there see what I can do about fixing the bottom of this well, that made a big difference. I still uh, got a little bit of room in here to put a bracket. Just close the gap up. Looks like I'm touching right here. A little bit right there. This can still go in just a little. What's happening over here? I've got my hole plugged here with a thing, whatever. I've got quite a bit of room in here, like a half an inch in here. Yeah, now it's. Uh, Not sure, but it's hitting right here and right in that area. I think I probably need to take off a little. Especially right here. Start it from about here. Just 
pin is not really working very well. Down to about here. Yeah, this area right here. That's hitting the, the bed. So I need to take a little off of that. Find my pin so I can mark this. Oh, I made me a little bracket here. It's not very big, half inch. But uh, it'll hold a fender and I finished this little edge up here. Good enough to throw some Bondo on it. This all looks pretty straight. And uh, got me a bolt hole drilled in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this fender on. See how I line up there. You can see I made a mark where it was. Take a look. Well, I got it on there. Bolted up. We're real close here. And uh, probably see my bolt. It looks good here all the way in the back. I'm probably gonna have to to move this. And it looks like it's almost hitting in here. I need to redrill this hole down here and move that fender in a little. I think it's hitting down here in the, right in this area somewhere. So we'll trim that a little and uh, didn't really change any of this. Still looks good. I've got a lot of this uh, flat bar here. I think I'm going to use it for the for the brace here on the bottom of the of the fender. I've got enough meat in it to drill a bolt hole in it that'll. Hold my uh, small bolts here. So I think that's pretty good. I don't want to make this bottom brace until I finish cutting up this part. And uh, I'm probably going to have to do something with that tab right there I'm not sure what I'm sitting right on the fender it's not going in it's hitting down here somewhere I may leave it I don't know I may cut it off and make a better one but I think you know bolted in the back side brace here good brace here I've got one here across this uh, iron bar and in the front that should make this uh, plenty solid it looks real good better than I was planning on of course a lot more work too but uh, Almost the final mounting of this fender. I would spent most of the day on that side of the bed. And I'll go up here to this front part. I need to sand it down. And I got my uh, 
sticky back sandpaper for my DA today. So I won't have to. Got a, enough to grind all this shut down. Now I get to working on this one. Like I say it was in pretty good shape. I do need to work on the bottom there. A little in here. I'll kind of do it like the other one. I think I'll cut a, a stainless patch there. I could use this big heavy stuff, but it's awfully hard to cut. I'll make a stainless patch, put it up there, make sure this is all welded good. It's all straight. Do the same thing that it did on this side. That's uh, like a sixteenth of an inch. There's no problem at all using the welt in there. It'll look real nice. So I'm kind of done for the day. So like and subscribe and I'll try to upload this and we'll move on with finishing this fender tomorrow.